Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday, August 4th, and it is my 25th birthday. Yay! It's funny because I was just having this conversation with one of my some of my coworkers and I was telling them that every time I celebrate a birthday, I'm usually always I'm always better off than I was the year before. Not that I'm like ever really, really bad, but that's something to be thankful for. I figured I'd slap on something that I thought would be great for something that I would want to wear on my birthday. I mean, it is my birthday, but just something nighttime appropriate party-ish, but not too dark and dreary. I'm using LA Splash Cosmetics, which I'm like really falling in love with and I'm already ready to place my second order. Yeah, this is how I'm spending my birthday. My friends took me out to dinner and we went and we had some shisha, which is like hookah. So I had a nice little low key laid back night and I'm gonna be working tonight, unfortunately. So my way of really like celebrating my day is doing my makeup extra special because I don't wear ma makeup to work. So I'm probably gonna be rocking something like this to work later on tonight. So I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial. A shout out to all my other Leos out there. And if you just so happen to celebrate today as your birthday, happy birthday to you. So let's see how it's done. I'll see y'all later, bye. Start off with a clean face. I'm going to moisturize today with an oil control lotion, one of my favorites. The one that I'm using is by MAC. I hate that noise. Sparingly and just rub that into the skin. Even if you've got oily skin, guys, make sure you are moisturizing, okay? I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Perfecting Base. I'm gonna go ahead and dab that pretty much only in my problem areas, which are my T-zone, bit on my eyelids, and and I'll just kind of pat it all over just for uniformity. I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. One of my favorite qualities of this foundation, and I know a lot of people don't like this, but I like the fact that it warms my skin up a bit. I always felt like even though my, my undertones are kind of golden, um, if I wear a foundation that's yellow based, it just doesn't work for me the way you would think it would. So I would kind of prefer something that's a little bit more red in it to kind of balance out my skin. You know, NW45 is one of those like one size fits all colors for women of color and I know that people are sick of it, but I really love this shade for me. By the way, I'm applying that with my e.l.f. foundation brush, which is probably like one of my new favorite brushes. Oh snap, August favorites, oh snap. I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows. I'm going to use my MAC brow pencil in stud. I'm sorry, not stud, spiked. And I'm actually gonna go for somewhat of a softer brow than I normally do because I really want the intensity of the eyes to be like the key focus. So the brows won't be stealing the attention for this party. Brows are filled in and good to go. I'm going to go ahead and start the eye look by applying a bit of concealer onto my eyelids so we have no discoloration or anything like that. We get a even canvas to work The with. next thing you're going to need is an eyeshadow base. I'm going to use my Maybelline 24 hour color tattoo and the color I'm using is Edgy Emerald. So you're going to want to apply a bit of that shadow base straight onto your eyelid. I like the way this stuff kind of feels like paint. And I'm just gonna apply that from inner to outer corner. So it's going to look like that. I'm going to use Enchanted Forest from LA Splash Cosmetics. And I'm applying this pretty much on the center of my eyelid. It's a really gorgeous color, oh my God. It's my first time like really playing with it. This is going right on the center of my eyes. Leave a little space on the inner corner and of course the outer corner. I then used a matte black eyeshadow. This is Bulletproof from Sugar Pill and I can't open it up to the camera and show you guys because it's broken, unfortunately. But just any matte black eyeshadow, no shimmer. And I'm applying this color on the outer corner of my eye with a blending brush. So I'm just kind of starting off by stippling it first because I know mattes, especially black of all colors, can be a little tricky to work with, but I'm going to just Pat it on first, give you more control, and then I'm going to slowly start to blend it into the crease. Start off slow, start off with a little product if it's a little intimidating. You can do this, you can get through this. Pat it on, and then blend. Next, I took Pineapple Coral Glitter from LA Splash Cosmetics, and then I dusted that 
on top of that green that we applied earlier for some more added shimmer. This is one of their mineral pigments and the color is premium. And I'm applying this gorgeous diamond infused color on the inner corner. So the eyes look like that. Isn't that pretty? I then used an orange eyeshadow. This is orange from MAC. It's just a regular matte orange. And we're gonna hang on to this later because we're going to use it as a blush. I'm now just using a blending brush and I'm applying this orange eyeshadow in the crease. So we get a wash of that orange. I'm now using a black liquid liner. This is from Maybelline, the Ultra Liner. And I'm going to draw a nice semi-thick line. And then for mascara, I used Maybelline Lash Stiletto. For now, I'm gonna leave the bottom lashes alone because I'm gonna go ahead and fill those in after I do concealer and all that good stuff. Now we gotta work on the rest of the face. For under eye concealer, I really, really like, I mean, it's my birthday, so I wanna look flawless. I like using the MAC Studio Finish Concealer under eye, and I usually just tap that right on with my finger, right on with my finger, all the way down from the corner of my nose, starting at the innermost corner of my eye and then we're going to drag it all the way over you see how instantly that brightens up my face and I gotta do my nose but I'm also gonna kind of stipple that out so it's not like just one random line and then my forehead I'm going to blend that out with a damp beauty blender sponge so that we get that seamless finish because you can apply your makeup with your finger guys but it's not gonna get the results you think it is you gotta you gotta have some reinforcements so that's where the beauty blender comes in what the heck is that so just go ahead and blend that out I'm going to use my Ben Nye banana powder so I'm applying that with a dry sponge and I'm pressing that into my skin and then down the bridge of my nose and then into my forehead take a large brush large powder brush and just gently brush off the excess or sweep, I should say. Brush just sounds a little harsh. Just doing some sweeping, very lightly. I'm gonna use that Enchanted Forest pigment that we used earlier in a flat liner brush and gently push some of that underneath the eye. This step's optional, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply a black coal liner on my waterline. Then I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara to those bottom lashes just to finish those eyes off. Okay, so we've still got that super bright highlight looking look going on. So we need to put some powder on top of our face. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. And I'm taking a, that same large brush that we used earlier and sweeping this all over my face. All over my face, very gently. Next, I'm going to bronze. Oh, how I love bronzer. Oh, how I love this bronzer. This is my CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzer, and she's going in my temples, as well as the low points of my cheekbones. Remember that orange eyeshadow we used earlier in our crease? Now we're gonna use it as a blush. I'm gonna apply a bit of that just on the apples of my cheeks. Not too much. Then I'm gonna go ahead and prep our lips by applying a brown lip liner to prepare for the lip color we're using. This one is, obviously I need a new one. This is Cork by MAC. And I fully intend to use this one all the way to the nub. Yes, I do. I'm going to apply the teeniest bit of Cha Cha by OCC. This is one of their lip tars. And when I mean a little, I mean try your damnedest not to get carried away with the sun. So it will look like that. Not very impressive on its own because it's a super light color. Well, actually that, that looks pretty decent. But on top of that, I'm going to apply Revealing Lip Glass by MAC. 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I'm going out on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs>